Hello guys, welcome to Jungle Jave. Apologies for the way I sound. I'm uh, whoops, I've got the, I've got I've got a touch of belurgy, I think. Just turn things around here. Yeah, I've got a touch of belurgy, so uh, I feel like SH1T. But uh, I've got to go to work tomorrow. I've got to go over to Ireland. So uh, yeah, really don't feel like shaving, but uh, can't. Got to uh, maintain standards, haven't we? So I'm having a shave. As you can see. Day late with this, well it's going to be a day late uploading, uh, Coronation Shave, C3R. So, to commemorate that, from Canada, Razor Rock Lupo 9.5, Razor Rock Lupo 0 0.95, <coughs> stainless steel of course. From True Fit and Ill, which is right next door to St James's Palace, which was the home of the King when he was a Prince of Wales, before the death of the Queen Mother, Truth is and Hill, right next door to St. James's Palace. You could walk it in 30 seconds. Oh, there's a cream in there. Sandalwood, lovely. I have the cologne to go with this, you've seen it on the thumbnail picture. Well, I haven't brought it into the bathroom with me. Okay, from Scotland. The uh, executives are shaving super duper sized lava bowl. The brush. From another nice posh Mayfair, Mayfair shop from London, it's the GOF Trumper Super Badger 5. So that's the brush for today. And from India, the blade, the Gillette winner. Okay, now, unusually, some time ago I sent up there for some samples from True Fit and Hill, and uh, so this was in the samples for a long time, pre-shave oil. There's the address on the back. Now I don't use pre-shaves, as you know, you very, very rarely see me uh, using them, especially in oil. But uh, as it's a coronation shave, and it's from London, and it's from King Charles, I'm going to go for it. True Fit and Hill, the oldest barber shop in the world. It's in the Guinness Book of Records, apparently. Like a very, very light citrus scent on this. Okay, so uh, I'll just lather up. I was going to turn the camera off and do things, but uh, I don't think it's going to take too long to shave. See, it took a lot of product out there. Nice, silky, bright sheen. Just pop that into the bowl, like so. Let's get my Super Badger 5 brush, which has been soaking in uh, lukewarm water. And get in doing the business. Yes, I uh, was doing a job working with the uh, Ukrainian army, the uh, Ukrainian recruits, conscripts, for uh, training on the uh, in the UK using UK facilities. I was working with another chap there and. He was going down heavily with the uh, with the lurgy, with the cold, flu, or whatever he got gone down with. And uh swats passed it on, hasn't he? Yeah. So <laughs> just the season out. This is whipping up nicely. I'll try and be as quick as I can. Not much time. Still gotta pack my stuff. Get back in the bowl. Bit heavy handed on the uh, product again, but uh, why not? I think that's kind of, this camera looks a little slanted. Never mind. Put some more water in. Put quite a lot of water in here. It's surprising how much water this uh, pot of cream, it's surprising how much it actually takes. But I'm there now. There we go. Now, because it be cold, I, I, I can't, I'm not picking up much scent. But the truth of the, the truth is in the hill creams, generally, they don't smell anywhere near as strong as what the uh, aftershave colognes uh, smell. So, say, I'm not used to uh, applying uh, pre shave oil. So, what I'll do is, I'll wet the whiskers first, slap the oil on. So, 
those of you who have been uh, <coughs> celebrating the coronation, have you, uh, did you have a good time? Did you do anything good? Those that aren't celebrating, well, that's up to you. Now, I must remember to what I played in this razor. I've not put the bloody thing in yet. So, if you see me pick the razor up, shall blade. Nice. It's about half the uh, oil I've used here. Now, I don't know if pre shave oil works or not, or if it really does anything. I really don't know. It's not an orange peel. <coughs> yeah, the zest, the zest of an orange. And I've never really been comfortable mixing oil with water. But try it once. Now, before I forget, I'm going to put the blade into the uh, razor. Oh, I feel like shite. <laughs> Just take me a little there. Uh, don't know if you can make out that it's the uh, Lupo 95 there. But it is. There's the Gillette winner. Special steel in the blue pack. Brand new. Going in. <coughs> oh my god. Yeah, so uh, up really, really early in the morning as well. But next week, I'm going to make lots and lots of money. Okay, here's the blade, blade show there. And this is the most aggressive of the uh, Lupos, the .95. I'm just gonna pop the lid back on this oil. I don't know if I'll, if I'll ever use it again, but uh, you never know. I'm all over the, all over the shop here, fellas. Right. Now for some reason, Things are misting up in here. And I don't know why that is. There's no hot water floating around. But my mirror's misted up. I just hope the lens isn't. Nice blush. And I do appreciate the fact that the king probably wouldn't approve of the fact that this is a badger. But you can't have everything, king. Hey! Razor, group, razor Rock Lupo 0.95. That means it's a 0.95mm blade gap. Gillette winner in the blue pack. A special stainless steel. First use. Me likes. Got a little zit on me lip there, I think. Yeah, I am. Making my excuses already. Yeah, and there's like a little yellow tinge in the lava coming from that pre shave oil. There was long moments of silence there. <laughs> so it's not fail a million dollars. I was actually in two minds whether or not to record this show, just because of the way I feel. Both. I've just invested in a mobile hotspot for Wi-Fi. I'm just curious 
to see how long it's going to take me to upload the average uh, shaving video. And now that I've got, I've been limited with my Wi-Fi, with working away a lot, and uh, I, I didn't have unlimited Wi-Fi on my uh, phone. But now I've got this hotspot, I can keep up with YouTube more and comments. I only got it yesterday. So I've been, uh, instead of using the main broadband in my flat here, I've just been on this mobile there. Uh, Hot spots all day just to see uh, what how it does. My temperature's going up here. <laughs> That's taken a lot off on the first pass. Really has. Oh yeah, should really shave the whole dome tonight, but no, I can't be asked. Can't beat a badger brush every now and then. It's just a good one. One that doesn't need the lather. Find if I, I find if, uh, if I'm using a badger or a bull, you just have to go heavy handed on the product, on the soap, the loading, etc. But you could, all day long, you could apply the lather over a badger. It's nice. This Super Badger 5 from Trump is probably, out of my badges, it's probably the, my favourite one. Nice, very nice indeed. Just notice my Union flag's a bit cockeyed there. Never mind. <coughs> yeah, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I thought I might have been uh, working this weekend. But because I'm going to Ireland and because of my driving hours, I have to take this whole weekend off. Two days off. So I bought all this bunting for the windscreen of the coach for the coronation. Coronation, not coronation. And of course, I'm not using it now. And I thought, oh, well, maybe I can uh, bank holiday Monday. That's still a celebration. Maybe I could put it in the windscreen and the coach then, or me bunting. And I thought, ah, I'm going to Ireland. <laughs> So be both in Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. And at some point, I'll be doing a city visit to Belfast. And I'll probably, is that spot just gone, I think, has it? I don't know, I can't see. And I'll probably show them the, uh, the Peace Wall. Places like that. Drive down the Falls Road in Shankill. So, it's a bit disrespectful, isn't it, to uh, fly the flag? <laughs> Plus, I could get up with the uh, brick rear window. <laughs> So uh, best, best I don't take them with me. And I'm not saying anything would happen, but you know it's just uh, out of respect, really. It's not worth upsetting people when you don't have to. Okay. That Lupo is doing an excellent job. <laughs> I do prefer it to my uh, aluminium Lupo. I 
I thought I'd gone completely overboard on the uh, the cream then, but I haven't. Luxurious shaving cream, this lovely lava. Coats well, glides well, and I find it I find it's uh, more slick than uh, tops. The residual slickness that is. It's uh, I know tops can sometimes it can well I find sometimes dries out on me. Don't have that problem with true fit and all. Trumpers as well, I think uh, out the London shops, I think uh, Trumpers uh, uh, creams are superior to uh, Tobbs. Only my opinion. Your mind is my theory, as they say. Okay, let's go against the grain. Let's hope I can get to sleep tonight. I've got those things of spray up my nose and capsules. Because I know I'm going to really feel like SH1T tomorrow. <laughs> you just know, don't you? So I've got all my medicines in advance yesterday. Nothing worse, you know, when you're going down with the lurgy and uh, you get that blocked nose and you're trying to sleep at night and one nostril's completely stuffed. I hate it. Always got to get the uh, old diesel spray. Nice against the grain. On the moustache there. Now I still have some comments to answer on my last video. I will endeavour to get around to them tomorrow. Maybe when I'm waiting in the queue for the ferry to Ireland. Be sailing from uh, Cairn Ryan. Up near Strang Ra. Feels nice on the neck. Lovely. Cold rinse, you know the drill. So I haven't brought my uh, cologne in here. No, there's nothing wrong with uh, directly applying cologne after as an aftershave. I have done it before. It does the same job as well. It's just an expensive way of doing it. <laughs> so uh, 
I invested in uh, a lens of boots and uh, I invested in some uh, tea tree and witch hazel. And I got one bottle and she says, oh, but you get three bottles for the price of two. So I end up with three bottles. But this is my old maid mix. It's uh, got myself some uh, tea to go. I think it was on Amazon. It came from Australia. I mixed it with uh, witch hazel myself. So I uh, use this up first. Nothing better, you can, nothing better to put on your skin. Witch hazel and tea tree. And the skin feels absolutely fabulous. I'll start there, shave. Lovely. Okay, quickly do the recap. So this was my uh, coronation shave. So from Canada, the Razor Rock Lupo 9.5 stainless steel. In there, I have the Gillette winner. Special steel in the blue pack from India. From Scotland, with the super duper sized lava ball, uh, made by Seth Baxter, sold by Executive Shaving. And the brush from London, from their uh, Trumpers, was a Super Badger 5, George Trumper Super Badger 5 brush, full ivory handle. And from True Fissinelle, Shop virtually next door to the King's Old Residence, St. James's Palace, Truefit and Hill Shavings Cream. And that was rounded off with my own mix of witch hazel and tea tree. Okay, whoops, a daisy. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And, well, enjoy your bank holiday, your bank holiday Monday, and uh, enjoy next week. Thanks for all the recent comments, likes, subscriptions. I appreciate you all. Okay, guys, you all stay safe. I'll see you further down the line now. Bye bye.